The motivation for making the record was it's something I always wanted to do, but I didn't really feel like I had the confidence yet to do it. It was years ago, decades ago, I wanted to do something like this. Uh, and, you know, just listening to a lot of great guitar players over the years and uh, getting inspired by, by listening to them uh, and playing a lot of shows and playing a lot of guitar for, for many years. Uh, I just one day said, I'm going to try this. And I wrote an instrumental guitar song and I liked it. And it just kind of snowballed from there. The process of making the record was about a year or so, um, from start to finish. In between there, I, you know, there were schedules and I went on tour, uh, you know, just different things going on. Um, and uh, yeah, from start to finish, it took about a year. I'd say it was about three months of actual recording time when it comes down to it, but from start to finish, about a year of time. The album was recorded at Constantine Studios, and it was produced by myself and Jason Constantine. Uh, I had some amazing musicians come in and play on it. My bandmate from Arbor St. Joey Vera played bass on the track. Uh, Barry Barnes, who plays in Count 77 out here in Vegas, uh, played a bass track. Uh, the drums were all done by uh, a guy named Alex Papa, who did an incredible job. He truly is the, the heartbeat of the record. The record wouldn't be what it is without him. Um, just uh, just amazing. He's an amazing musician, he's donated their time. I also had a good friend of mine, Fritz O'Hara, play bass. Uh, and my friend Michael Masonette played drums on the record as well. 